Okay guys, we're here back at the hemp pharmacy. We're talking about ways that we can make money farming hemp. This is no longer a dream for us here in North Carolina. This has been passed. We are ready to farm. All right, so we've talked about seed. We've talked about fiber. Let's talk about you tobacco growers out there. I've talked to a lot of farmers. I understand what's going on on your farms out there. Um, so this is something that's very interesting to the tobacco farmer because it's a familiar process. When we're growing for seed, we're, we need a combine. When we're growing for fiber, we gotta have a sickle bar mower and we're still growing for bulk. Well, this is an option that you're growing for the flower. So there's a difference. Monoaceous for di versus dioaceous varieties means that if we have a male and female plant like in the seed category, we get pollen. So that for, therefore it makes the seed. Well, in the monoaceous variety here that we're gonna be growing, this is for the flower only. We don't want the seed. Well, your spacing is very similar to tobacco spacing. You're gonna be a lot in a situation where there's a lot more manual labor. You're gonna be giving each plant a lot more care. Um, there will be options in the future to do this on larger scales, but what you're looking at in the flower production category right now is your smaller farms. You're going to do a couple acre plots, you're going to use your greenhouse, potentially even indoor space, and you're going to create, create the best flower possible. Um, currently, right now, we are working as hard as we possibly can to develop those CBD sources for the cannabidiol version of this plant. Um, so we're standing here in the hemp pharmacy where we sell varieties of this already that are produced in other parts of the country. This is Charlotte's Web. We have lotions. We have even dog treats that have CBD in it. Actually, was just received an email this morning with uh, hemp, uh, hemp CBD horse feed. So instead of tranquilizers, you can now give a horse a natural supplement that will reduce their anxiety while say they're getting their feet trimmed or something like that. The options here are endless. Um, we're, we are really working hard to develop this outlet for you guys as hard as we possibly can. For the 2017 season, we are doing research programs through the co-op. So if you can grow some smaller vari or multiple varieties, smaller quantities, then we get to do the research this year. You'll have hands-on experience and we hopefully will have contracts in place for 2018 for production. Um, so guys, in summary, this is how you make money farming hemp right now. This is only the tip of the iceberg. I know you still have a whole lot of questions. We're just hitting the top right now so that you have a basic set of information. You can do your own research on Google and we're available here to answer your phone calls and emails. It may take us a day or two to respond. Please don't give up on us. We, are, uh, we will contact you. Um, again, nchemp.org, more videos, more information, hemppharmacy.org for CBD, and my phone number, 910-409-4557. There's also going to be an application available online. Matt Colligan is available for questions, and he also will be processing those applications. This cooperative farming venture will end for 2017 by mid-May. I mean mid-March, I'm sorry about that, mid-March. So what we're trying to do is after mid-March, anybody who's gonna to wanna to join will be for the 2018 season. So please, if you have interest in farming hemp this season, there's, we're down to the last few weeks to sign up. So please call us with your questions and emails and thank you again for your time.